Alright guys, this is Holly, and I'm here with a comparison video for you between the DSi and the DSi XL. So, we'll start first with the Nintendo DSi. This is my Nintendo DSi. I got this on launch last year. It's blue. It was a color I picked between blue and black. I really, really like the color. Um, it's fairly compact. has the nice shoulder buttons. The two screens. buttons on the inside. And I'm going to show you this game here, Super Princess Peach, in this system. Alright, so here it is here. This is a Nintendo DS9. And we'll get started. And I'm just going to turn this up to full brightness. Okay. Alright, so that's what the graphics look like on this system. I really, really, really like the color of the system. I will give it that. It's, that blue is one of my favorite blues. Um, another thing about the system, I enjoy here, are some of the DSi games I've downloaded. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong the Minis Launch Again. Dr. Mario. Warrior War Snap, that wasn't such a good game. Uh, Dragon Quest Wars is really good. And I've put, I got a thousand free points with my DSi when it came out, and I also put a $20 Wii Points card on here. And that gave me access to all of that content. So there you go, that is the Nintendo DSi. The speakers are pretty good. The battery life is not as good as the Nintendo DS Lite. Um, get about nine hours of battery life. And that's on a good day. Usually it's about six and a half. I usually like it on a little brighter than the lowest brightness, so six and a half is probably average. And before I have to recharge it. So now I'm gonna show you the Nintendo DSi XL. Let's get the game out. So this is the Nintendo DSi XL. As you can see it has bigger screens. Much bigger. It's brown in color. The only two options are burgundy and brown. Um, it has like a soft um, material down here. So I'll we'll put the game in to show you this. I'm just going to turn it up to full brightness as well. Alright, so this is an Nintendo DSi itself. And with this system, you don't get the thousand free points, but you do get uh, about $16 worth of software. You get Photo Clock here, which is just a clock with an alarm that rotates your photos. It's really, um, yeah, I wouldn't have downloaded it if by choice. And you get the two Brain Age games, Brain Age Arts, or Math, and Brain Age Arts and Letters. Um, I played both of them. They're pretty good. They like the Brain Age titles for the DS minus the Sudoku combined. And those are $8 a piece on the DSi Shop channel. Now I'm going to show you the gameplay. So this is the same game, so you can get a comparison. As you can see, the colors are just as vivid. Um, I don't think it's any more bright. But I don't see any pixelation between the two. Um, the sound quality is much, much, much better. I'm just going to turn it down a bit. Uh, the sound on the DS games have really improved. I mean, it... It's more clear. You don't get the scratchiness you sometimes get when it's turned all the way up with some games uh, for sound effects and such. It's, it's really well done. I really like the sound on it. The other thing I really like is the battery life is actually better on this system than the Nintendo DSi. So I actually get, instead of about six and a half hours, I'm getting nine hours on the brightness I like and up to 15 on the lowest brightness. So it, it's a lot better battery. I was pretty impressed because the screens are much larger. I figured the battery life would be either equal or less, but it's actually more. So I was pretty happy with that because it's one of the things I didn't like about the Nintendo DSi. I'll just close this here. So that's the Nintendo DSi XL. And this is the Nintendo DSi. As you can see, they're similar in size. This one's a lot bigger. Um, it's a lot heavier as well. I think it's got about 3 or 4 ounces on it. Um, it's still portable, but not as portable as this one. Um, I really like the blue 
the really nice colors have come out in the DSi, and I really like the matte. I'm not a big fan of the shiny. Again, we're back with fingerprints and all sorts of stuff. But the screen size is just so much bigger. And let me show you a comparison. I'll go back to the home screen and see if I can set this up. I'm going to have to zoom out here. There's a really good comparison My screen size. That's basically the same screen on both systems. Same picture. I think it's the same picture of my dog. Yep, it is. And as you can see, I don't notice much pixelation at all. I mean, it really looks the same to me. And I'll show you the bottom screens as well. Let's do it this way. There we go. So here's the bottom screen. It's much bigger. I mean, it's huge. It really shrinks the DSi, but the DSi isn't bad to begin with. Close that up. Close that up. If you have a Nintendo DS Lite, definitely go with the Nintendo DSi XL. I think it's, you know, a better upgrade. But if you have a DSi and you don't have many games, I would go with the games. So I thought I'd do a quick review of uh, the comparison between the two. I, I still really like this DSi. Um, it's a beautiful color. I just really, really love that blue. I was so excited when it came out. I didn't think we were going to get it in North America. I thought we were going to get the white and black like Japan. And when they announced the blue and I saw it, it was just so perfect. But um, I also like the brown. The brown's actually very nice, or the bronze. And, um, yeah. Alright guys, well thanks for watching.